The next one we're going to look at is when our partner drapes their hand over our shoulder on the far side, so away from their head. Okay. So when he does this, I'm going to do the opposite of the other one. I'm going to put my right arm around his arm and grab my collar. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the weight on my hand. I'm going to get up on my knee and I'm going to put my foot up right in front of his face right here. The goal of this is as I sit back, it's going to kind of push him away a little bit. I want to make sure my knees are pinched here and that he can't ride up. I'm going to slide out so that his hand is right on the side of my neck. I'm going to pull my elbow over the top of his arm. That's going to make it tighten a little bit. It's going to twist his arm and then I'm going to compress down right there. We'll show this from another angle. This is a little bit different of an arm lock. It's a compression arm lock instead of an extension. So we're crushing down to our partner's elbow. It's really important that we have like a little valley underneath that arm. So when we pull down, there's space for it to, to compress. So again, he's over my shoulder on this side. I grab, grab his wrist, put the hand on the floor, get up my knee on his chest, on his stomach, other knee, other foot up by his head, sit back. Now I'm gonna push him away, pinch my knees. I'm gonna create a little space by just sliding out. I don't wanna put my back on the ground. I grab my elbow, I pull it over the top of his arm, and then I compress down right there. 